Well, this is a 2010 Ford Ranger 2.3 liter. Uh, took the valve cover off to change the valve cover gasket. That's a pain in the ass, by the way. Um, anyway, I want to. I'm curious. I don't know if anyone can. If this is too much play in the timing chain. That's. I don't know how much that is, but half inch. I mean, imagine it shouldn't be completely taut, but at the same time, that seems like it's on the edge of maybe it's just right I don't know I look down in here at the uh, the tensioners and they seem to be fine doesn't look like there's any broken pieces on those tensioners um, so if we look let me shine that down there hopefully not so there we go I think that's a good view I don't see that those pieces are broken. I can't see them all the way to the bottom, but eh. let's see. It seems to be intact. And same thing on this one on this side. That tensioner seems to be, ouch. From what I can tell, it appears to be intact. I don't see anything goofy. It doesn't look like anything's broken on that. So, I don't know. I was trying to find, I'm sure there's a spec someplace for measuring it. But, you know, if you look at it, There's a little deflection downward. That would probably be about level right there. I wish I had something to hold the camera here. Because then we could see how much it actually moved. I'm going with about a half inch. That seems fair. Anyway, um, it runs well. It misses, but I don't think it has anything to do with timing, to be honest. Uh, it, maybe it does. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just a hunch, I guess. I'd have to prove it out. But it, it doesn't miss all the time. And I was going to pull the plugs out. If we look at the ports over here, these are pretty oily. At least it seems to me that they look pretty oily. And let's see, the valves look good though. But there's a lot of goop in the injection tube there. Just a lot of carbon, I guess, and definitely oil. So I assume oil is making it into the combustion process. I don't know. It's got 130,000 miles on it. I think the answer to this one is make it somebody else's problem. Uh, I really don't know. It also has a crappy exhaust on it, so maybe that's plugged up and causing it a little bit of issues. Uh, rest of that. Now, some of these aren't exactly what I would call great looking lobes, like that one right there. That's got some some scarring on it. Doesn't look too good. Can't see the ones way in the back. Well, that one back there, he looks a little interesting too. He's got a wear on him. Uh, let's see. He kind of looks okay. That seems maybe, eh. It's all right. This one's got some, some marks on it. Seems like maybe they all have a little Maybe about half of them. The motor's clean though. The guy who had it before me, he's an oil change nut, so 